Dang it, Nick. Nick, man. Dang it, Nick. All right, white people, come on in the room. Come on, come on in the room. Come on, and I need y'all to know through love and kindness, am I drawing you in? Come on in the room, sit down. Just, just uh, sit down and shut up. Black people, y'all come in the room, but I need y'all to sit on the side for a second. I need you to back me up on this a little bit. But I need y'all to just be quiet for a second. Just sit down. Nick, listen. Beloved, people ain't ready for this right now. They not, they not ready. I understand you got to be true to yourself. Power to the people. People ain't ready. And I saw you tasting your words. I saw you and you was tasting the words. It was a little salty. And you tried to do something about it. But you know, we are the salt of the earth. White people, I need you to check your feelings at the door. Alright? If you still got your feelings with you, I need to click off this video. Then go back. Check your feelings and then click back on and then join the class. Alright? I'll give you a second. You good? Alright. White people. It's not a lie. Sorry. But I'm going to bring it down a little bit better. A little bit. I'm going to... I'm going to break it down just a little bit more so it's easier to go down. It's easier to, to digest, okay? I'm going to give you a little bits and pieces. I'm not going to give you the whole thing because Nick tried to give you the whole thing. But I'm going to give you a little bits and pieces, all right? Listen, y'all. White America. Y'all have been some savages. We, we, we in history right now. We not in 2020. We in history right now. White people, y'all have been some, yeah, y'all been some, 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 y'all been some beasts. Y'all, y'all have been barbaric. Y'all have done stolen a lot. Y'all steal land, people, culture, ideas, inventions. Y'all steal a lot. It's in you. Get it up out you. Get it up out you. Y'all have raped. Y'all have killed. Y'all have murdered. Y'all have done so many savage things. Y'all can't get mad at this man for saying what, just talking about history. Am I saying that, that that because of the color of my skin is the reason why? But no, I'm not going to directly say that because I think it's just the culture that people of color have that people, that white people don't have. And I believe that there's what you call an inferiority complex. If you look back in history, white people, it's almost like y'all just threw a whole penis swinging event for years and years and years. Even though a lot of y'all don't have much to swing. Sorry. I never knew about a micro penis. I seen it on the white man. So I can understand why y'all might be a little upset about people of color. Even with women, I white women, I remember there was a time when y'all didn't want big bunkies, big big lips and full features. And then y'all seen all these voluptuous and sexy looking black women out here. I ain't talking about me. I don't. I'm not talking about me because I don't. I don't. If I was a girl, to girl, I would not fall in that category of voluptuous or none of that. Okay. I'm so glad that I am who I am in the way that I am because, ooh, child, ooh, wouldn't be good. But I do have full lips. It's saying, do have those. <laughs> but anyway, I'll talk. All jokes aside, man, white people, y'all just got to get out your feelings, and that's just, the, that's just the, that's all I really want to say, because you just really got to take an accurate account of history and look back in the day at what y'all have done and how y'all actually built this country, and the things that you guys have tried to bury, the unfortunate, well, not unfortunately, but unfortunately for you, I guess, is coming out, and people are awakening and seeing the misdeeds of white people, and it's just the truth. There is an inferiority complex about the culture um, when it comes to people of color. I remember I used to be so upset. I had to grow a lot. I grew a lot. 
But I used to be so mad when I would see white people with 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 with, um, with locks because um I'm just like, dang, can we have anything for ourselves? It's like really but I had to grow. I had to grow out of it. I had to mature and realize that we all borrow from different cultures. We all do. But history has taught us and shown us just unapologetically so that white people you do have, y'all have had an inferiority when it came to people of color. Now, I'm not going to say that solely due to the fact that we have color. No. But it's just that, who, like I said, it's the culture. It's who we are as a people. Period. And I, I like, I, I really, I listened to the, video, the, to the video of Nick and what he was saying. I listened to it a couple times because I was trying to, at first I was like, nigga, what are you doing? Do you know what you're saying? And, and how many people listening to you say it? You know what I mean? People are getting canceled now for just opening their mouth. You got all these Karens out here and all these racist people that's just getting caught on everyday videos, losing their jobs and stuff like that. We're not in a time frame where you could just be so... You got to break it down for white people, for white America and just people, period, to digest this. And I get it, what you're saying, and I don't um, disagree with you at all. Because it's the truth, okay? White people, y'all have been some savages. Y'all have done some very savage-like things. Y'all have done some very animalistic type things, some barbaric things to people of color. It's the truth. You have stolen, you have raped, you have murdered, you have buried. You have done a lot of things in your history, so it's there. I'm, I'm not sorry, but I need for y'all to come to the Jesus meeting that we're having right now and say, Lord, forgive me for my sins. Acknowledge what you've done and stop trying to sweep it under the rug and get out of your feelings when people bring it up because it happened. You did it. The only thing that we can do now as a country is move forward and try to figure out some way to just heal Black people as a culture, as a people, period, need to heal. And by you not accepting responsibility for what you've done makes it extra hard for us to do that. I love everyone. I'm not a racist at all. I promise you that. But I just need for y'all to get out of your feelings and go and look at the images of history and what it's taught us. You cannot hide anymore. You cannot sweep things under the rug anymore. You can't. Um, it, it's just, it is what it is. It's time to come to the forefront and admit and say, look, my culture, my people have been all of these things that Nick said. Evil. Everybody is not like that. No. We've come a long way. But looking at history is what he was talking about. It's, it is what it is. It's truth, man. It's truth. And what we can learn from that today is how not to treat people. Like I said, we all borrow from each other's culture. We all do. And I don't feel that you should be jealous of anyone because of their attributes, but celebrate them. And if there's something that you like about it, cool. Don't try to steal it or take on it as your own identity and say that it's something that is yours. But just embrace the culture and just enjoy it. But don't try to steal it because y'all do that. You don't feel like you want to give credit where credit is due. Whether that's due to the fact that you don't like the color of my skin or what. It's just what you do. It is an inferiority complex. I'm sorry. I don't know how else to put it. So, I just want to say, Nick, I love you, man. And I get what you're trying to say. And just keep on being you, brother. And, you know, we got to face the harsh realities of history before we can move on to a greater America. It's just period.